news! Amazon to launch a new competition series, K-pop, the search for the next K-pop superstar. This news of Amazon.com launching on Amazon Prime, a new show that they broadcast on demand about finding the next K-pop superstar just broke as we were setting up the camera equipment to film something else. So now we're filming this because we find it very interesting, or at least I find it very interesting. <laughs> well, first of all, I want to know where they're going to film it. Like, I want to know... Is it going to be filmed in the United States? Is it going to be filmed in Korea? Is Amazon taking their entire entourage, their own production studio, over to Seoul, South Korea? Because if you look at the executive producers on the show, there's only one person that's with CJ E&M out of all these people. It looks like a, a bunch of white men. I don't actually know if they're white. I'm just saying it doesn't look like Koreans are producing this. And so therefore, right away, I jump into the... There's no way this is going to be truly successful because it should take place over in Korea with Koreans. K-pop is Korean. I see the attraction and I see, they see dollar signs, but I don't think they get the full logistics of what it takes to be truly successful, this sort of program. Yeah, I, I'm with you on this one, but I want to backtrack because I did read, there's actually, there's two articles that I found on this and I read both of them doing re really quick research. So this is minimal research, not extremely well researched. But what I did find was that this is Amazon's first competition reality type show. So they're really excited about it. This is going to be launching this whole genre of Amazon Prime streaming. And I think they saw K-pop and they saw dollar signs and they went for it. They're going to be getting competitors or people who want to be K-pop stars from around the world. So it's going to be open to all kinds of people. You could win a chance. I saw in one of the articles, you could possibly win a chance to travel to South Korea for intensive language courses so that you could sing the Korean for the K-pop music. So after you win the competition, you could travel to South Korea. Well, the competition is to get a recording deal in Korea with a K-pop company. Doesn't I'm, say which one. It doesn't say which one. I'm guessing CJ E&M because they are part of the production team. <laughs> well, it just kind of makes sense. The only reason why I say that this actually really stands a chance, because I'm with you, there's no, not really a big Korean production staff, and to me that's like, uh, I don't know about that. But they do have one of the producers from American Idol, which is the one show that kind of started this genre. And also they have another producer who did things like Hell's Kitchen and um, American Ninja Warrior, which I don't personally watch, but I know is very popular with people that I'm related to. Well, and I'm looking at the names of the people right now. I'm not even gonna actually read them. I was going to read them, but again, they're not important as much as the concept of K-pop being successful, the secret. I mean, there's a lot of kind of different ingredients that go into making K-pop successful. But one of the secret ingredients is Korean culture and people abiding by what the elder says as when you're coming into the K-pop industry as a 14 year old, for instance, you're just gonna do whatever they say. That is not what's happening in the West these days. In the West, we have such individual feelings about what life should be that we, object to certain adults telling us what to do. And you guys know what I'm talking about if you're not from Korea. If you're from Korea, you don't know what I'm, Koreans follow so rigidly to the point where they will never veer off from what someone is telling them, especially if they have a chance to be in an entertainment company. You're taught this from birth. Well, and this is something that a lot of K-pop stars who have come from places like Canada and the US have actually had issues with and problems with when they first got into the Korean pop entertainment company. It's not a matter of just being very talented or being very good at singing and dancing or even being good looking. It's all those things on top of a very strict self-discipline that doesn't ever object to what you're being told. Even if you grossly disagree with it, you still go along with it. So then, you know, you get to the point where girl groups are breaking up in their late 20s because they've gone from birth to the mid 20s following everything they've ever been told ever and then their contract runs out after seven years and they go all right enough of this i can finally make a decision for myself I i'm just saying this is something amazon's they're not thinking carefully if they're gonna have a bunch and i i don't want to burst your bubble either if you're one of those people that actually wants to try out for this and you're not korean or you're not 
from say the Philippines, like Krista Chu, for instance, who is breaking that mold. There are a few people. I know some of you are like, oh yeah, there's people who are not Korean who are in K-pop, but actually the majority of successful K-pop groups, if you look at BTS, seven Korean members. If you look at EXO, 12 members, three left, they were all Chinese. Like, only the Koreans are the ones that last. People will watch, but then it won't be super successful unless it's with a Korean mindset starting. Well, my thing is it depends a lot on who the judges and panelists are because that is going to be some of it. Well, no, because they're going to have judges and panelists who help, but if you actually have really big K-pop stars that are on that, then that can help give it legitimacy, not only to the Korean people, but also to people who are interested in K-pop. There's a lot of X factors that aren't being accounted for and that we don't have the information about yet sure. that could make this successful. Could it be successful? Yes. I don't think so. I think they already but, have this show in Korea where they have JYP and y Yang Yun Suk. I mean, you they don't- They have it, they do. Right, right. They, you don't need more than one show though. They already have this show. Like think about American Idol. We don't need another American Idol. We already have American Idol. They don't need another show very much like it. This is what they're trying to do. They're trying to emulate the same show that already exists and you have the very best judges sitting on that show already at the very top. Like the but, biggest entertainment company CEOs are the judges. That's true, but that's a Korean you wanna hear what, show for Korean people. This is a show that's it's not- for, Dude, that's for everybody. We watch that show sometimes. But this is going and to they be translate a K-pop so, star competition for the international community. Without Koreans trying out. Exactly. But <laughs> that's what I'm saying. This is why. This is why the. Whole, uh, that's what I'm saying. This I'm is not... why it it it's kind of up in the air. Could one person <laughs> become popular in K-pop land from this show? Yes. Of course, they have to go through with trying to have the show in order to see if it's successful or not. I don't want to be the one sitting here saying that it's not going to be successful. I don't really know what all the factors of making a TV show or an on-demand show, which isn't even TV. It's online web demand, you know, it's Netflix, Amazon, There's they, they got these new companies now, Amazon trying to break into that. If Amazon doesn't shoot this in Korea where there's Koreans that want to try out and with Koreans running it in order to get the full K-pop experience maximized for the viewer, because that's really what the magic of K-pop is. It's run by Koreans and it has Koreans participating in it. It's the beauty of the Korean everything that makes k-pop part of what k-pop is on top of the fact that everyone speaks in korean if it's going to be a bunch of people outside i mean it gets to the age-old question like what is k-pop can a whole bunch of because i i don't know anybody who's made a k-pop group with non-koreans like a full group of non-koreans successful like super successful it hasn't been done yet well and that's the key point what is k-pop can you have K-pop completely outside of Korea itself, completely made up of non-Korean members, is it still K-pop or is it just something else? And I personally am really skeptical, but I'm looking forward to seeing how this pans out, what ends up happening. Does the show actually end up being made and does it make Hallyu waves? So many of you probably have a reaction to this. Comments down below. Do you agree more with what Steph is saying? We shall see. Or do you kind of take my approach where it, if it's not done in Korea, it's going to have a hard time succeeding? What do you think? Or are you really excited and saying, oh my gosh, yes, K-pop, sign me up. Even if it's not Koreans participating. That's for you. Comments, you guys. Click the like button. Thank you so much for supporting us here at Hollywood you Back. Click the bell for notifications. Check out the link to KGAL, top of the description. And don't forget to subscribe for more Hollywood Back news. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.